everybody, Randy Karcher here, the Musical Health Coach. Welcome to Fortissimo Friday. Glad you could join me today. Um, I was thinking about something, uh, you know, when you have kids uh, and family, uh, things are going to happen with people and, and uh, there's going to be disappointments. And we had <clears throat> one of our kids uh, went through something yesterday and was really distraught. And uh, I wasn't privy to the whole conversation, but my wife was on the phone uh, with one of our children and uh, it was a very tender experience um, something they've gone through just recently and and it made me think about something this morning life is about learning how to manage disappointments because we all have them it's just the way it goes we can think we're on top of the world one second and then something else happens but life is going to happen like that so how we react to that and how we manage that is an important thing I did a little bit of research and there are five things that I want to share with you about dealing with disappointment. First thing is to manage your emotions. And part of that is allowing yourself to feel things all the way through. Allow yourself to have a few moments. But um, the idea is if we can feel it, then uh, it will help us understand what the event actually meant to us. So that's the important thing. The next one is don't take it personally. Okay? These happen to everybody, to people all the time. So when you take things personally, it narrows your point of view and it doesn't allow you to see the deeper meaning in the big picture. And if you're despairing, then you're kind of focusing all on you and it doesn't allow you uh, to, to maybe uh, gain a lesson that you learn from that whole thing. Uh, the next one is review your expectations. You know, as you take a good look at that, maybe you were unrealistic with your expectations. And uh, this is a great time to kind of question whether these expectations actually serve you, okay? Um, another point is take a big picture perspective. Um, being able to self-reflect is the essence of good mental health. It's an important part of us for all, to be able, all of us to be able to do that. Maybe talk with somebody that you trust that can give you additional insight, that can give you clarity and help you kind of uh, see things from a different perspective and will also help you feel better. And lastly, uh, try again or try another tactic. Um, Thomas Edison uh, tried a thousand times until he was successful with the light bulb. And of course, a, um, uh, a reporter in, in true reporter style asked the question, how does it feel to you to fail a thousand times? And Thomas Edison replied, uh, I didn't fail a thousand times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. What a great way to look at that perspective. Um, back in the 90s, um, a really good friend of mine, Kenneth Cope and I had a pop rock duo and we were very excited about the possibilities and we were writing some great songs um, uh, together and having a great experience with that. We actually we got a manager uh, down in Los Angeles and we actually got offered a uh, recording contract. Now it wasn't a very good one so we passed on it. We were very disappointed how things didn't go the way we thought. Um, but we went ahead and did the record anyway. Um, and uh, Kenneth's always been really good, not only at, at music, but also lyrics. And I love the way that he wrote the lyrics uh, to this song, but I'm not gonna sing it for you. That would, <laughs> I can't sing like Kenneth does, so I'm not gonna do that. But um, this song is called Bitter Sweet. And uh, you know, cause life is bittersweet, but sweet is spelled S-U-I-T-E, which is like a musical sweet. So, um, uh, when we wrote this, I wanted to scratch out something really quick before I did the score for, this, for the string section. And so, you know, film composers do this all the time, so you'll see this. Um, this is, it was called Bittersweet, and you'll see how I just scratched out all my ideas, and I put in notes and stuff like that to remind me what I wanted the string section to do. And then I actually went in the uh, studio and just improvised uh, the, the piano part at the end. So. This would be really interesting to see how this goes because I'm going to be playing what I sort of did with the string parts and then I'll come in with the piano part. But this is what the score looks like. In those days we hand wrote everything, but this is, this is the actual string score that I used uh, when we did the, the session. But anyway, this is called Bittersweet. I hope you enjoy it.
There is Bittersweet, and boy, it's been a long time since I played that one. Um, the idea in our lives is it's going to be bittersweet. Just make sure that you can look at things from a different perspective. When you look back on things, you will notice that there was a lesson to be learned in there. And there are things that you can take, put in your heart, to be able to help somebody else with. This has been Randy Karcher, the Musical Health Coach. Thanks for joining me today for Fortissimo Friday.